Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the first Adrenaline Pay-Per-View. Welcome to Gold Rush. I am Jeffrey Wrestling, the voice of the TWC Tom Watts Collection, the Fantasy Wrestling League. We are in Seattle, Washington, and it is time to kick things off here tonight with our first and opening contest. How about this one? The Blue Meanie making its way to the ring. This will be a tag team matchup to kick things off on a night where Booker T and Triple H will face for the World Heavyweight Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin will take on Taz. We will see The Undertaker and Goldberg. And how about this? Big Stevie Cool Stevie Richards making his way to the ring. This is scheduled to be Scotty Too Hotty and Rick Hishi. And here comes two of the members of Too Cool making their way to the ring here tonight in Seattle. And wait a minute. The YouTube champion Rikishi is here. That's, that's Grandmaster Sexy. We heard about a trade that had taken place between the Adrenaline brand and the Madness brand. And how about this? And it's actually going to be Grandmaster and Scotty Too Hotty Too Cool in this tag team matchup to kick things off live on pay-per-view. How about it? I cannot believe what we've we've got here. Scotty Too Hotty getting thrown around though by the Blue Meanie. And there's the tag. In comes the newest member of the Adrenaline brand, Grandmaster Sexy. We know there will be tag team championships here on the Adrenaline brand. And you got to think this matchup might have an impact on those first champions to be crowned as Grandmaster Sexy. Busting a move here to kick things off live on our first pay-per-view. Oh my goodness, nice. Backbreaker, Russian leg sweep combo from Grandmaster Sexy. And oh, he went for it. Richards just caught him with an elbow right into the face. But Grandmaster with the drop kick knocks him off the apron. And now picks up big blue meanie. Drops him down with the belly to belly suplex. Big punch to the head. Another one. Oh my goodness, look at this. And another shot that takes him down. And now gonna send Meanie into the corner. Referee almost got taken out. Tag made in to Scotty Too Hotty. Look at this. Picks him up for a pile driver. Oh, Scotty Too Hotty with a kick in the face. And now the tag in to Stevie Richards. The Blue Meanie might be out of commission. These two men go at. Each other had the same idea, but Richards takes him down, drops down the big leg from Big Stevie Cool, who now picks up Scotty Too Hotty up on the shoulders, drops him down, flapjack. And now the boot to Scotty Too Hotty. Oh my goodness, another big chop, and there's a return and an uppercut from Scotty Too Hotty. But just like that, Stevie with the backbreaker gonna cut him off. Picks him up, back up onto the shoulders, drops him down with the gut buster. And now Richards, oh no, he got caught with the arm drag. Scotty Too Hotty with the clothesline. And now a shot to Meanie. He goes off the apron. Top rope, Scotty Too Hotty. Oh, but Blue Meanie was waiting. And there's a shot. And oh my goodness, Richards. Gets caught with the slam. And now Scotty, oh, went for a clothesline, missed it. Stevie Richards caught him, drops him down across the knee. Picks him back up. Oh, right, face first. And now Scotty Too Hotty trying to make a tag. He needs to do so. He's getting it taken to him. Slides out the back door. Oh, he should have went the other way. Went for a tag instead. Ran. And Stevie sidesteps him. And to the floor goes Scotty Too Hotty. But watch out. Grandmaster Sexy comes in. 
plants him. Drop kick to the Blue Meanie. Referee needs to get him out of there. Richards is there to make the tag, but there's no one there to tag in. In comes Scotty Tuhati, who is now going to the top rope. And again, watch out for Meany. Oh, a punch that took down Meany. He also caught Richards. There's a shot. And now Scotty Tuhati. Woo, woo, woo. Boom, and he catches him with the shot. That could be it, but he doesn't go for it. Instead, what is he going for here? He's going to pick Richards up. Oh, but Richards still fighting back in this matchup. Sends Scotty Tuhati up and over the top rope. Oh, but takes a punch. Scotty Tuhati now to the top rope. Got him with the top rope. DDT, that might be it. And now the tag to Grandmaster Sexe. Back into the matchup. But Richards makes the tag to Blue Meanie. Oh, but a bulldog from Grandmaster 6A, and he's going to the top rope. This could be the hip-hop drop. He caught him with it. Drops him down, cover one, two. He got him, and Too Cool picks up the win to kick things off on Gold Rush Pay-Per-View. Rikishi accompanying them to the ring, the YouTube champion, and how about it? Grandmaster Sexe has joined the Adrenaline brand in a big win for Too Cool to kick things off here tonight. What a matchup. Well, this next matchup will be a singles matchup. There is a stipulation to the matchup. It'll be Perry Saturn of Raven's Flock in a singles matchup against DDP. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP has to beat Saturn in a one-on-one -on -one matchup and if he can do so only if he can do so we will have a hardcore championship matchup and DDP will try to take away the prize possession of Raven and take away that hardcore championship but he's going to have to do double duty to get there and this should be a hell of a matchup Perry Saturn is no slouch as he goes right in picks up DDP and caught him and don't forget, Raven is at ringside. DDP going to pick up Saturn. Drops him down with the suplex. Kicks him right in the shoulder blade. Saturn just pops up. Going to pick him up for another suplex. DDP this time. Able to reverse it. Saturn, though, with the nice reversal. And again, this time, over the overhead suplex from Saturn. Saturn is a hell of an athlete. There's no way you can take that away from him. And oh my goodness, nice double kick there that takes down Diamond Dallas Page. As Raven watches on the outside, he's got to be loving that. Whether we have a matchup or not, Raven wants DDP to be in no condition for a hardcore match to take him on. And the longer the match goes, the advantage goes to Raven. And if Saturn picks up the win here tonight... We won't even be having a hardcore matchup, and DDP will be out of luck. And right now, Saturn is taking it to DDP. Sends him up and over the top rope. Crashing down to the floor, and now Saturn's going to the top rope. Saturn all the way up. Comes down with the fist and takes it into DDP. Oh my goodness, DDT on the floor to Diamond Dallas Page. Saturn caught him, and now going to send him back into the ring. Oh, Saturn made a mistake. He should have went for the cover. Instead, look at this, rings of Saturn being applied. He's got him hooked. DDP trying to fight away. And oh, DDP with the knee right into the face. Oh, the big back elbow from DDP. He is lucky he escaped the rings of Saturn. He was close to the ropes, unable to make it, but fought out of it. And now these two men just tie up. You can see the intensity from both men. Northern light suplex from Saturn. This could be one. One count only. DDP able to kick out. And now Saturn just putting the boots to Diamond Dallas Page. Picks him up. Look at this. Michinuku driver. 
And again, putting the boots to him. And now Saturn again with another shot. And now Saturn going to the top rope. DDP trying to roll out of the way. I don't know if he rolled far enough. Saturn drops down the elbow. Again, though, doesn't go for the cover. And it makes me think, is he trying to hurt DDP? Or is he trying to win this matchup? There's a DDT in the ring that drops down Diamond Dallas Page. And now, finally, going for the cover. Referee's there. One, two. Oh, DDP kicks out at the last second. And that might have just woke up Diamond Dallas Page. Both, oh no, DDP with a nice shot there to the body. Look at these shots to Perry Saturn. Drops him down. DDP snaps his neck across the bottom rope. And now it's DDP going for the cover. Trying to put away Saturn, cover one. Gets a one and a half. Saturn kicks out and now Saturn pops up. Oh, Saturn went for a punch. I don't know. I think he just missed him. DDP catches him in a suplex of his own. He plants Saturn down. As you see Raven on the outside watching this one. Saturn now. Oh, my goodness. Shot to the midsection. DDP. DDP caught him. He caught him with the diamond cutter. That could be it right there. Cover one. Two. He got him. And Diamond Dallas Page will get his hands on Raven, I can't believe it. DDP, bang, hit the dunk. Wait a minute, Raven. Oh, Raven. He went and grabbed a steel chair. Oh, my God, another shot. Another shot to DDP. One, two. No, you got to be kidding me, Raven. Raven just snuck in and laid out DDP. And that's it. Diamond Dallas Page caught with the chair. Raven picks up the win. And Raven's going to leave Gold Rush. Still the hardcore champion. Unbelievable. And now Raven with the steel chair again. Come on, he's not done. Refer oh, another shot to DDP from Raven. And now he's picking up DDP. Even flow DDT on the floor. And Raven is still your hardcore champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for tag team action as the Hardy Boys. And we talked about the Adrenaline brand presenting tag team championships. I'm sure that'll be done very soon on this brand. And this is another top tag team here on this brand, and that is the Hardy Boys, Jeff and Matt the Brothers. And they will risk it all in this matchup. They will do anything to get a win. But they're going to have their hands full. We saw the debut of Wrath right here on Adrenaline. It was actually a handicap match between Gangrel and the Hardys. And there you see the leader of the brood, Gangrel. And and wait just a minute. That is that is Wrath on the right, but that is that's Mortis. Mortis is here. What the hell is this? This is the brood and Gangrel is on the outside. We're going to have Mortis and Wrath here, the new brood, taking on the Hardy Boys here tonight. Mortis comes flying in, takes down Matt Hardy, takes out Jeff Hardy. And now up on the shoulders. Oh my goodness, into a neckbreaker type maneuver. He's not even supposed to be here. That's the second time we had tag team matches set. And somebody else came on and took the match. And now Wrath, picking up Matt Hardy, drops him across the knee. No one can match power in this matchup with Wrath. He is an absolute machine. And now look at this. Hardy up on top. Oh, went to throw down some punches. Wrath just throws him off. Big boot to the face in between the eyes of Matt Hardy. Oh, but Hardy with an elbow. Oh, went for a chop. Blocked it, going for a choke slam. Oh, but Hardy grabbed him and planted him. 
And oh my goodness, Wrath though fighting back up to his feet. God Hardy picks him up, drops him down with a choke slam right across the knee. And now there's another tag back into Wrath. But oh, finally, Matt Hardy able to get out of the matchup. In comes Jeff Hardy, but he runs right into a tilt a world backbreaker. And now some shots to Jeff Hardy. Choking him across the top rope. Referee needs to step in here. And Wrath really choking away at Jeff Hardy. And now look at this. Oh my god, again, drops him on the knee. Back of the head and neck of Jeff Hardy. Sends him into the ropes. Referee almost got taken out. Went for a clothesline, missed it. Jeff Hardy now with the momentum going his way. Hits the Russian leg sweep. Both men just tie up and oh, Mortis just throws him off. And you see Gangrel on the outside watching along. Picks him up on the shoulders, plants him TKO style. Does Mortis. And now Mortis going to send Jeff Hardy into the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here on Adrenaline's first big pay-per-view, Gold Rush. Give the video a like. There will be some new pickups for the Adrenaline brand. And views and likes will impact who gets to pick up the first competitor first between the Madness and Adrenaline brand. And if you are a fan of both brands, hey, that's fine. Check out both shows right here in the Tom Watts Collection. But if you favor one over the other, give it the old thumbs up and help your favorite brand out. And now look at this. Oh my God, double. Choke bomb on a Jeff Hardy cover one, two, and Jeff Hardy able to kick out of it. Wrath is just an absolute monster. Now he's got Matt Hardy. Sends him in the hard way. Big time suplex. Picks up Jeff Hardy. And he hooks him. And this could be. And is the meltdown. He caught him with the meltdown. He doesn't go for the cover. That would have been it right there. And now Mortis. Setting up Jeff Hardy. Downward spiral, he caught him. And now going for the cover. One, two, now it's broken up by Matt Hardy at the last second, but look at this, Wrath picks up. Oh my God, he just dropped him down on the back of his head. And now Mortis again with Jeff Hardy. Up on the shoulders, drops him down, flapjack style. And now choking away Matt Hardy on that top rope. He gets taken down. Mortis really showing off some big time innovative maneuvers in this matchup. Picks up Matt Hardy, plants some flapjack style. Picks up Jeff Hardy. What is this? Oh my God, hooks him and plants him with that neck breaker type maneuver. Cover one. Two. Now Jeff Hardy able to kick out of it. Jeff Hardy kicked out of it. Wrath on the outside looking to get the tag. Mortis just caught Jeff Hardy with a big time German suplex. Matt Hardy gets slammed down back inside the ring. And now Mortis once again setting up Jeff Hardy who is fighting to his feet. Oh my goodness, he got it again. Face first planted, cover. Referees there, one, two. Forget about it, the brood, the new brood here on the Adrenaline brand. Pick up the win. Gangrel has shown up with Mortis and Wrath and they knock off the Hardy Boys in a hard fought tag team matchup, but too much for the Hardys was the strength of Wrath and the innovator of offense, Mortis. What a matchup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. Set your timer, this might be a fast matchup. This one won't be pretty. This is going to be a fight 
between two of the toughest SOBs here on the Adrenaline brand. The Human Suplex Machine, the FTW Taz versus DTA, Don't Trust Anybody, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake. And we know things are about to break down between these two men. Here comes Taz. Austin though catches him with a clothesline. Taz went right after him and he got caught and these two are fighting on the outside. And this is everything we thought it would be. This might not be a wrestling match. This is gonna be a fight. And we know Taz can slug and fight with the best of them but if I'm Taz, I try to get Austin to fight his matchup, and that would be a wrestling mat based matchup. But I don't know if you're going to get that from Austin here tonight. He's been choked out by Taz. These two have slugged it out on more than one occasion. And it all started when they were tag team partners in a qualifier to crown a new world heavyweight champion. Austin was on the same team as Taz. It was him and Goldberg going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it was a count-out that eliminated all four men from the match. Going on to the Battle Royal, so Austin was out, Taz was out, Undertaker was out, Goldberg was out, Taz and the Undertaker were pissed. They wanted Goldberg and Austin. And over the past two weeks, all four men have been in involved in some hell of a fights and battles and eventually Stone Cold and Goldberg will go toe to toe you have to imagine they want to get their hands on each other but before they can do that we got Taz and Undertaker and they want to be the world heavyweight champion and Taz has a lot to prove in this matchup we wish Dusty Rhodes a speedy recovery. We know he was taken out by the Giant. Ric Flair, neck brace and all has been running the brand and you know Taz is trying to stick out. He's trying to prove something here on the Adrenaline brand. He's been overlooked before in his wrestling career and he's got a huge matchup and opportunity. And he can really change the way we look at him here tonight. As both men tie up, Austin catches Taz with the Thez press. Shots to the head. And now Austin drops down across the chest. Here is our first cover of the matchup on Taz. One, two, and Taz able to kick out at two. Austin thought that might be it right there. That's not going to do it. Oh, look at that. Nice takedown from Taz. Grabbing the arm, and there's a shot to the midsection. And Taz again just slugging it out with Austin. It's back and forth. But Taz needs to hook Austin and catch him with some suplexes. He is this, the human suplex machine. And he's feeding right in to what Austin wants and that's just a fight. Austin now picking up Taz. Sends him into the corner. Shot to the midsection. Look at Austin just putting the boots to Taz. He is relentless. And now Austin. Top rope. No, oh, Austin thought better of it. Comes down. Now goes to the second rope. Taz is just crawling to that bottom rope. He might be half out of it. Taz gets picked up. Austin's got. Look at this. Austin. Shot to the knee, shot to the face. Caught him with a clothesline. Picks up Taz. Picks him up. Oh my God, he dropped him right on his head. Caught him with the power driver. We know Taz has had a broken neck before, but he kicks out at one, and that might have just pissed off Taz. Look at this, these two men face to face. Taz sends him in. Oh my goodness, into the corner. That pile driver might have honestly woken up Taz. And now he's got Austin up on the top rope.
Oh man, big shot from Taz. And now again Taz from the top. All the way up top. Superplex onto Austin. Both men down in the middle of the ring. Taz first to his feet. He's going to pick Austin up. Hooks the leg. Oh my god. Head and leg. Suplex from Taz. Cover one. Two. And Austin's able to kick out at two. And now Taz can't believe it. After the impact off the top rope and then that. And now Taz. He hooked him. The Kata Hashimi, the Taz mission. He's got him hooked. The Taz mission, Austin. Trying to fight it out. Look at this. He's got the arm on. It's an elbow. An elbow to the back of the head. And now Austin. Shot to the back. Midsection. Stone Cold Stunner. He caught him with the stunner. Cover one. Two. No, Taz kicked out. Austin can't believe it. Taz kicked out of the Stone Cold Stunner. And now Austin, DDT on the Taz, hooks the leg, one, two, and again, Taz able to kick out at only two. How the hell did Taz kick out of the Taz mission? Caught him with the big time Brooklyn clothesline, two count only, and now Austin kicks back up to his feet. Oh, went for the kick in the midsection again. This time it's the leg from Taz. And now what is Taz doing? This is not a no disqualification matchup. Like our main event will be later on with Booker T and Triple H. Taz has got the steel chair. He always says, I don't need a weapon. But he grabbed a weapon and Austin just caught him in the back of the neck. Austin caught him with that clothesline right in the back of the neck. And now Austin again, Thess Press, shuts raining down on Taz. Here's the cover. Now and Taz kicks out. And now Taz, trying to fight to his feet. Oh my goodness, and he caught him again with the stunner. Here's the cover. One, two. He got him, and Taz is taken out by Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin picks up the win. Stone Cold Steve Austin picking up a massive win and laying out Taz with the, not one, but two Stone Cold Stunners. And that is a massive win for the Rattlesnake here at Gold Rush, live on pay-per-view. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for another fight, if you will, another barn burner. And after Austin and Taz went face-to-face, -face, now it is time for the American Badass, The Undertaker. as he rides right into the arena. This should be a hell of a fight between The Undertaker and Goldberg. I talked about it in the last matchup. The Undertaker was in that tag team matchup. His partner was Goldberg. And will The Undertaker, the dead man, be next? The knock on the door of the famous the man, Bill Goldberg. He is here tonight as he makes that march to the ring. And we know this one's going to be good. This is going to be an absolute war between these two men. The dead man and dumb man. The Undertaker attacked Bill Goldberg in the backstage area right on adrenaline. And now tonight, Goldberg looks for some revenge. We also saw Goldberg walk out 
on his tag team partner, Stone Cold Steve Austin, I guess. He's a man that stands alone. And the crowd is going insane for this one. Goldberg, The Undertaker. You can feel it here in the building. This is about to be two bulls colliding head on. And here we go. Goldberg comes flying in with the big boot onto The Undertaker. And look at this. He's got The Undertaker by the throat. Picks him up, drops him down with the spear. And Goldberg erupts this crowd to kick things off in this matchup. He could be... Oh, I thought he was going to set him up for the spear. But he ran right into a boot. The Undertaker caught him. Gets the two count. Goldberg able to kick out. Goldberg rolls through. These two big men going at one another. Undertaker dropped down to the outside. And now Goldberg. Shot to the midsection and now some punches. I said the last match was going to be a fight. These two big men going right at one another. Goldberg with a power slam on the concrete floor. And he wants the Undertaker back in the ring. And here comes the Undertaker. Big time punch to the face. Picks up the Undertaker. Shot to the midsection. Hooks him. Oh my god, lays him out. Cover. Undertaker able to kick out. Picks him up, drops him down with the backbreaker. And now the Undertaker. Picking up Goldberg, drops him again down. And now Goldberg going to roll to the outside. Oh, but Goldberg with the shot. And now these two punches back and forth on the outside. Look at this. Goldberg with some big time shot. Spear on the outside. He caught Goldberg. Oh my, I'm sorry, Goldberg caught the Undertaker. He about cut him right in half. You can't win the matchup. Outside, well, you can win by count but you're not going to get a pinfall victory. He needs to get the Undertaker back into the ring, but Goldberg broke the count. And now the Undertaker slamming Goldberg into the guardrail. Maybe, maybe Goldberg should have took the count out victory, but he wants to prove here on the Adrenaline brand he's one of the top contenders. Sends the Undertaker into the guardrail. Why, oh my god, Goldberg with a spear. And both men just went flying out into the crowd. Here's another look at it. Watch out. The front row almost got taken out from Goldberg and the Undertaker. Both men are down. Referee continues to count. This thing could end in a count out. If they are careful, Undertaker into the ring post. And oh my god, again, head first in. And now Goldberg going to pick up the Undertaker. Sends him in. Back into the ring. Goes for the cover on the Undertaker. One. Only gets a one count. And oh my god, the Undertaker sits up. And now the Undertaker. Oh, but Goldberg! Oh, I thought he was going to go for that jackhammer, but he got him with that neck breaker. But now the Undertaker. Back to his feet. Oh, Goldberg went for a shot. And the Undertaker with a big lariat takes him down. These two bulls going at one another. And now Goldberg sends him up and over the top rope. Going to suplex the dead man back in. He got him up. Look at the strength from Goldberg. Picking up the Undertaker, slamming him down. And now wrenching at the neck. Goes for the cover. Undertaker quickly kicks out of the Undertaker. Sits up again. Goldberg is down. Sends him up and over. Hangs on. Drop down to the outside. And now Undertaker picking up Goldberg. And now the under oh, the Undertaker. He was going for the choke slam. Goldberg fought him off. This time he'll pick him up. Oh my god, a choke slam on the floor. He just choke slammed Goldberg right on the floor. 
Sends him in. And now we're going to see Undertaker. The Undertaker. Who knows what he's going for. He's lost it. He doesn't want to get himself disqualified in this matchup. He's got Goldberg up. And all down to the outside. Crashing goes Goldberg. And now the Undertaker. With Goldberg. Sends him into that table. Oh man, went for a shot to the midsection. And now with Goldberg. Face first down he goes into that table. And I'm going to send him back into the ring. These two men have, oh my god, they have gone through a war. It looks like a war zone out here. We got a guardrail down, almost took out the front row. There's a big boot from the Undertaker. And now, slamming Goldberg's head into the canvas. And now the Undertaker. He wants up Goldberg. Shot to the midsection. He's going for the last ride. Goldberg's up. Oh, my God. He planted him. And he covers him. One, two, and oh, my God. Goldberg kicked out of it. Goldberg was able to kick out of it. Oh, and Goldberg pops up. Caught him with the clothesline. And now Goldberg with the Undertaker. Oh, went for a slam. Undertaker fought it off. Oh, my God. A DDT right on the top of the Undertaker's head. There's a reversal. Oh, went for the clothesline. Missed it. He blocked it. Catches Goldberg. He's got him up. Choke slams him down. The choke slam. That could be it. But now the Undertaker. Setting up Goldberg. Can he go for another last ride? No, he's he's gone for the tombstone pile driver. The tomb. Oh my God! He dropped him right on his head with the tombstone. What? What the hell? The lights are out. The lights are out. And what the hell? The referee is down. Undertaker's down. Watch out, Goldberg. Oh my God! A, there's a bloodbath in the middle of the ring. He just caught him with the spear. There is blood all over the ring. And now Goldberg picks up the Undertaker. Jack hammers him down. Cover. Referee one, two. He got him and Goldberg has won this thing. What the hell just happened? Blood all over the ring. The Undertaker is covered in a bloodbath. After the, the Tombstone Pile Driver. And Goldberg is going to pick up the winner. He doesn't even know what the hell just happened. He's looking around. But nonetheless, Goldberg knocks off The Undertaker in one hell of a matchup here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of the evening and it is a matchup for the Adrenaline World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring first, the challenger. The game, Triple H. And this thing all began with the first night of Adrenaline. Dusty Rhodes made all matches qualifiers for an eight man, or I'm sorry, for a 10 man over the top rope battle royal. Where the final two men would compete the next week to crown an Adrenaline World Heavyweight Championship. The Giant was thrown out of the matchup after taking out Nature Boy Ric Flair after the matchup, knocking him off the stretcher, putting damage to the Nature Boy, putting him in a neck brace. So his spot was taken away. It turned into eight men because we already talked about it. Austin, Goldberg, Taz, and The Undertaker were counted out of their tag team matchup for two qualifiers. So there were seven men ready to compete. Booker T, one of the hidden men that was undrafted, that was drafted and picked, well, he was picked up by Dusty to the Adrenaline brand. He begged for that spot. 
He was given the giant spot. The giant didn't like that. He took out Dusty Rhodes. We haven't seen him since. He's been out. Booker T. He didn't exactly qualify, but he was put into the Battle Royal. He ended up making it to the end. And Triple H, Booker T, they had a matchup before right on Adrenaline. Booker T shocked the world and became the first ever Adrenaline World Heavyweight Champion. You see him wearing the gold. He's been a fighting champion. He's had some hell of a matches here on Adrenaline. And tonight, he will take on Triple H. He wanted his hands on the Giant, the man that attacked him. The Giant has been suspended. Ric Flair actually came out and was sent by Dusty Rhodes to take over the Adrenaline brand. Booker begged him for this pay-per-view matchup to be against the Giants, but he said the match is already made. It'll be the rematch. Triple H and Booker T for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Giants suspended, and here we go. And that is what it's all about. The World Heavyweight Championship referee calls for the bell. We are underway. There are... No count outs, no disqualification in this matchup. We will have a winner between Triple H and Booker T. As tri oh, Triple H catching Booker T sends him to the outside. Triple H all fired up. He wants him back in. Booker back into the ring. Triple H has a lot to prove. He wanted to be the first Adrenaline World Heavyweight Champion. He fell short. The world was shocked. Booker T picked up the win. And tonight, the game looks to be on top of his game. But he needs to turn his back around. He cannot take Booker T lightly. He already did that once, maybe, and Booker T picked up the win. Booker with a German suplex off the second rope takes down Triple H. And now sends him in. Caught him with the back elbow. Goes for the cover. Not going to put away... Triple H like that. Ah, oh, but Triple H shot to the midsection. Goes to pick up Booker T. Look at Booker T fighting out of it. Oh, my God. Triple H, though, right back and into the backbreaker. Takes down Booker T. And now these two men on the outside caught him with the shot. Takes down the game. Oh my god, a big chop, and there's one right back. And now Tr oh, Triple H with a punch right in the head. And now Triple H. The timekeeper's table once again coming in play. We saw that in the last matchup. And now we got complete carnage out here be between these two men, but Triple H goes behind. Shot to the back of the head of Tri or I'm sorry, of Booker T. Sends him right into the guardrail. And now Triple H just pounding away at Booker. Notice there's no countouts. Referee just has no choice but to just let things go as Booker goes crashing in to those steel steps. Oh my god, another hammering shot that takes him down. And now picking up Booker T. What is he going for here? Sends him flying. Down he goes. Oh, Triple H with an elbow across the chest. Went for a clothesline, missed it. Sends him, oh my God, into the table. Triple H just putting the boots to Booker T out here on the outside. There's a punch for good measure. And now Booker going to finally send him back into the ring. Hooks him, front Russian leg sweep. Plants down Triple H, and now what is Booker T going for? He goes to the outside. Triple A, he's got a baseball bat. Oh, but Triple H caught him. Oh, the spine buster. Booker T went for a bat. It might have cost him one, two, and oh, Booker T kicks out at two. And now Booker T up to his feet. He pops up. Triple H catches him, sends him over the top rope, takes him down to the floor. And now the game with the baseball bat. Triple H with the baseball bat in hand. Booker T trying to crawl back up and now the game. 
No, oh, Booker T is in trouble here. Oh, wait, Booker T fights it out of his hand. Oh, the Triple H cut him off with a clothesline, and he takes him down. And most of this matchup has been, oh, my God, Booker T thrown right into the guardrail, but he fights his way back up. The majority of this matchup, it hasn't even been a wrestling match. It's been nothing but a fight, and that's been in the favor of the game, Triple H. This has just been an all-out war, and most of the action's been on the floor. Triple H picks him up. Sends him in. Ah, oh, but Triple H. He got caught by Booker, picked up flapjack cover, and the game able to kick out of it. Booker T now, shot to the midsection. Hooks him for a neck breaker and plants him. And now Booker T underneath the ring. What He's got a table. And now Triple H though flying out to the outside. Catches Booker T. Oh, shot right into the back. And now the game. Oh, Booker T again into that. The table on the outside picks him up. Shot to the midsection. He's got him hooked. Pedigree right through the table. Pedigree right through the table. Booker T might be out of it. Triple H. He's got to get him inside the ring. Oh, Triple H should have went for the cover. Oh, and a shot with the table instead. That was a massive mistake from the game. Why did he go for the cover? He's going to pick Booker T back up. And oh, Booker T caught him. Float over. Oh, went for a neck breaker. Triple H fought it off. Triple H sends him into the table. Triple H all fired up. What's he going for here? Picks up Booker T. Oh, right through the table. That table just exploded. Here's the cover on Booker T. One, two, oh my God, and Booker T able to kick out of it. Booker back up to his feet. Oh, Triple H caught him. In the midsection. No, Booker fights it off. Caught him in the midsection. Booker T. He caught him with the kick. He caught him with that side kick. Then now Booker T. Bookend. The bookend. Center of the ring. One. Two. Now oh, Triple H kicks out at two. Triple H kicks out at two. Oh, there's the backbreaker. And could he be setting him up? No, Booker picks him back up to his feet. Big time sidekick right into the side of the head of Triple H. And he's going to the top rope. This could be the Harlem hangover. He caught him. He needs to go for the cover. What the hell is this? What is that noise? A commotion. Booker T looking at it. What? Look at the Titan Tron. Look at the screen. What the hell? That's the giant. Who the, who the hell is that? The oh my god, the car door. That's Stevie Ray. That is Stevie Ray. That's the brother of Booker T and the giant. Just slammed him in that car door. And oh my god, a steel chair. Booker T is watching on. The giant's been suspended. He's not here. Oh, he just slammed. Stevie Ray on the concrete floor. And I'll watch out from behind Triple H. Triple H taking advantage of the distraction. Oh, he caught Booker T. Unbelievable Booker T. Triple H went for the spine buster, but he got caught. He got caught with the DDT. It was the spine buster. The Harlem hangover on Triple H. He's setting him up. I don't even know how Triple H is fighting to his feet. He caught him now. Bookend. And a cover. Triple H is down one, two. He got him. And that's it, Booker T. Booker T somehow pulls out the win and again is defeated. Triple H and he is still the world champion. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Gold Rush live on pay-per-view. I can't believe what just happened to Stevie Ray, but Booker T somehow is still the Adrenaline World Heavyweight Champion. We will see you Monday. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like. So long, everyone.